Here we go again, another video. Jones Pass, August 2022, month 69, I think, maybe 70. Turns all year continues, let's go. Nice four wheel camper over there. So I just got off the pavement. I'm on a dirt road now, Jones Road or Jones Pass. Uh, this will be my first time on like dirt roads in a while, like in over a year. Uh, anyone that's been around the channel for a long time knows I used to have a Tacoma, then a Tundra. I don't have any of that anymore. I sold them all. And uh, we have the old family vehicle, the Honda Pilot. <laughs> we played through the paces today. I think the road isn't too bad. A uh, new friend told me they took a Jeep Grand Cherokee stock rental one up here. So um, might be a little slower, but I'm hoping we get up here just fine. And also that uh, I get this, I get this vehicle with uh, car seats in it back home to mom safely. So should be a good day. Let's get going. There's a Prius on the road, so we're in good shape so far. A lot of campers, I think, up here. A lot of people do like dispersed camping. Super beautiful, super super beautiful. You know, I have been here. I think two Mays ago, I came up here with some friends and we uh, skied. Uh, this road that I'm on right now was still snow covered at that time. We had to hike it. There's a patch. We can get to that. It's pretty late in the day, five o'clock. Hopefully we can drive pretty much to it, but we'll get there. Super beautiful driving, this is awesome. Pilot's doing great. This is an off-road vehicle. Watch out, Forerunners. This thing's rad. So I think we're at the top of the pass. There's some cars up here parked. I think that's my patch right there. This is a true patch ski. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. We've got a hike, just a little bit of ways. And um, we're gonna ski something. So this will be rad. We don't have a lot of time. We gotta get moving. Super windy. Up on top of the divide. Man, this is super beautiful. Drop down under the ridge, way quieter over here. And uh, just did a little bit of walking, found the snow patch. This is gonna be terrible skiing. <laughs> oh. So I thought of going to this place because a viewer actually reached out to me and asked me if I had, oh yeah, look at it, here's his tracks. Now it turns all your guy right there. This is patch skiing. So the story is, um, maybe two weeks ago, a viewer reached out to me, and they actually turns all year there on month, like 1.30 or something like that, which is awesome. And uh, they're from California. They're in town in Colorado for a wedding. They wanted A, some suggestions for places to go, and B, if I wanted to meet up. Unfortunately, I was out of town that weekend, so I couldn't. Um, and I gave them, you know, just the normal places, but they actually came here to Jones Pass. And so they inspired me to come here. Someone from out of town has been doing it longer than me. So that's cool. And uh, I'm always excited about going to new places. And it's so beautiful up here. I love being in the Alpine. So um, let's do a couple of times. Also, I started another company. I'm still in my robotics business. I'll talk more about that on the drive down. But I started a little ski accessory thing called snow visa it's like a safety avalanche sticker you can write on it write the avalanche forecast i'm gonna make more videos all about it but uh if you want to support me go check out snow visa snowvisa.com and uh, i'd love for you to get one i'll put a some sort of discount in but it's, it's my thing it's just me um it's a tiny little little company but it's been really fun and uh, we launched it last year and i'm hoping to launch it in a lot bigger of a way this year and it's already happening partnering with some like guides and stuff like that so snow visa um, write the avalanche forecast right on the tip of your ski and then as you're touring it's just staring at you all day uh, to kind of keep that top of mind so you don't go off doing something that was not part of the plan and maybe wasn't safe so yeah let's go skiing muddy and mucky and dirty and gross it's awesome
that was two turns. People ask me all the time, what's it like? That's what it's like. But I think I'll do it again. That was a good turn. Turns all year. I think it's month 69. Well, let's see. 72 is gonna be in November. So October would be 71, September would be 70. Yeah, August, 69. Such a good one. Beautiful up here. I should take my family up here. Packed up, let's hike out of here. I'm gonna go back up on top of the ridge. That was a great ski. You can see the uh, tracks right there. I figured I'd take a second to just maybe update the viewers. Uh, the channel's changed a lot recently. I mean, I, I post a lot less, still kind of frequently, but the uh, YouTube channel is really built on truck camper stuff. And I don't own a truck camper anymore. I sold it last, last summer. Um, but the, the thing is actually I do own a truck camper. Uh, we've got another four wheel camper project in my backyard. Uh, there's a whole story behind it. I've been meaning to make a video about it and then start working on it. Uh, that would come someday. If you're a hardcore viewer, and you like that stuff, drop me a comment and let me know uh, that you would appreciate it. It would probably motivate me a little bit just find finding it hard to get started on that project. It's a, it's a big project um, and I'm not really sure how it's gonna end yet. The other thing that's kind of going on is my work life's really busy. Uh, I don't talk about that on this channel very often, but I have a robotics startup in Boulder, Artemis Robotics, a company I founded with some of my uh, colleagues from my PhD program, we all graduated and started this company up. And it's been going really well, actually. Uh, and so that just means that we're busy. Uh, so if you're interested in that, go check out ArtemisRobotics.com. We just raised three and a half million bucks, which is a ton of money for, for a little firm like ours. Seven people growing to 11 in the next few months. And so just been busy, really enjoyable, uh, but, but busy. And that, that takes away from the channel. I did, as you know, decide to continue to do the turns all year. Uh, I thought about stopping because I spend so much time by myself skiing terrible snow. But uh, my wife encouraged me to keep doing it. She supports it. Like today's a Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening now. It's like 6 p.m. She's home with the kids. She's going to put them down without me, uh, which she does a lot already. And then for a Saturday of the day, I could be doing it. She, she's doing it again uh, by letting me get out and go skiing. So that's pretty rad. I'm pretty fortunate for that. And uh, it, it is enjoyable. I am glad I continue to do it. Uh, just get out kind of do something have have that rhythm that monthly thing i go do sometimes with friends sometimes not i really enjoy it other things that's going on i talked about it up at the top uh but i got another kind of little it's a hobby business to be honest with you uh but it's called snow visa and it's like a snow safety sticker you put it on the tip of your ski uh you you write on it with a special marker uh every day or every time you go back on your ski and so like it's a, it's a whiteboard or a sticky note for the tip of your ski um, and I launched it last year and I've, I've sold some for sure. People, some people like it. Some people think it's too dorky, but a lot of people like it and enjoy it. Uh, I think they, they see the value of kind of just keeping this really important information right at the top of your ski as you're like ski touring. The idea is that it's, you know, as you're ski touring up, you can see the tips of your skis all day, every day. And um, some really important information's on there. Like um, the, the, the first thing I put on there is your commitment to safety, why you're staying safe. Uh, for me, I'm pretty much always writing my wife and my kids. So like, you know, that's, that's, that's the number one goal is get home safe. And that's reminding you of it, especially when you get out, maybe you're up here on Jones pass. Um, it's been snowing a lot and you get a little excited and it's supposed to just to help you kind of temper that excitement, to be honest with you and keep you honest about what you know and what you don't know. So then there's also opportunities to like write the, the day's avalanche forecast, which you, you'd get at the trailhead before you go and kind of draw it on there. Um, I, I think it's a pretty good idea but I think it could help some people, especially beginners. And I think that's a worthy endeavor. So I don't spend a lot of time on it. It's, it's very much a hobby business, but if you're interested, go check out snowvisa.com. That was fun. Just met a through hiker of the Colorado trail, chatted with them for a little bit. Pretty cool thing. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna wrap this up. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.